Hey, had a, a rough night because uh, one of my friends, uh, it was the anniversary of his death. It was an actor, it was a child star that lived with me for a while before he died. And uh, so I had a little breakdown, sorry about that. Anyway, I got um, a message from someone <laughs> Man, people are a trip. You know, I did a video on how people that do the Illuminati signs are not always aware of what they're doing. And um, I guess I was kind of put down because I uh, was insulted. Anyway, what's your agenda here? The horn devil sign shows allegiance to Satan. You cannot make it in Hollywood with a major film label unless you signed a contract with Satan. I've worked in Hollywood for many many years and i've never signed a contract with satan i'm <laughs> just letting you know all right th this is how crazy all right you guys give him way too much credit okay you're very immature to be saying such things saying that sometimes celebrities throw these signs up not knowing what they're doing uh i'm not denying that there's illuminati i'm just saying that not all the people that do them are satanic people <laughs> I don't know. They just believe everything they see on the internet, and then, you know, I get attacked. That's all right. The whole media is controlled by Satan, and you are making it harder for saints such as myself to expose these Satanists. They know exactly what they're doing when they throw up that sign, just as Obama knows it, because they're all of Antichrist spirit. What major film have you ever starred in? Well, I didn't star in a lot, but I produced many, and Lionsgate bought a lot of my films, and uh, I worked in Bloodsport 2 and 3, and, you know, I never claimed to be, like, you know, Spielberg. I just said I worked 16 years successfully as a film producer in Hollywood, and you can look me up on IMDb, Renee Rowland, and only union films are on there, ones that can be confirmed by actual film unions, so I didn't make them up. I mean, I'm the worst publicist as far as myself goes. Show me one movie you can say you've made. <laughs> okay, well, look at IMDb for Renee Rowland. You'll see a list this long of movies I produced. All right, there's blockbuster films made by major labels. Because apparently this person, who's never worked in film, knows more about it than I know. You know, so I'm trying to tell you that not every celebrity is a slave of Satan. Okay, it's not... <laughs> These people give him way too much credit. I mean, yeah, there's Illuminati symbols in videos. There's Illuminati signs in movies. But these are usually higher echelon people that are putting these in. And a lot of times the people that are doing them don't even know what they're, they're doing. So I was trying to defend these people to say give them some grace and mercy. Because you don't really know what the deal is so don't tell them they're going to hell and they signed a contract with satan and if their mom dies say that they put a hit on their mom for a sacrifice i mean come on man these are human beings you're talking about like come on that's all i was saying anyway i got attacked for standing up for people and saying give them a little bit of grace just because they're famous doesn't mean that they know everything that's going on you know and uh so <laughs> In my 16 years of producing, you know, I, I got attacked. You know, what big film have you, who cares? You know, look, you can look me up. I, I don't care. I don't, I don't do that stuff. I don't keep up with my own publicity. Somebody's put that stuff up there because I'm on there. But anyway, I wanted to mention some uh, grace verses that it's not of works, lest any man should boast. And I wanted to say, I'm going to do a video tomorrow. I'm just wiped out, man. I've just been greeting my friend. You know, I had a breakdown earlier. I, I, I didn't want to wait to say what I had to say until I got it together. But, you know. Uh, anyway. Romans 3, 28, 30. For we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Or is God the God of Jews only? Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since indeed God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith is one. It, it's all about what he did. And the problem is these, these ministers don't realize that it has nothing to do with you. It's all what he did and just believing what he did alone. So I'm just going to leave it at that. 
Romans 4, 5. But to the one who does not work, or worketh not, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is reckoned as righteousness. Again, imputed righteousness. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with our God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We know he is our um, intercessor. When we mess up, he's our lawyer. He takes care of it. What shall we say then that Gentiles who do not pursue righteousness attain righteousness, even the righteousness which is by faith? It's all believing what Christ did alone to save us. That's all. Romans 10, 4. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Again, it's believe, not behave. Now, I'm not advocating living a sinful life. I love him. And that guides me to live for him. That's what people don't realize. Their first thought is, you give my life into sin. My first thought isn't, oh, yay, I have freedom. How can I abuse it? I mean, that's not even my thought. So, all right. Romans 11, 6. But if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. So you can't do anything to merit grace it's just a free gift because if you did something to merit grace it would be debt god would be giving you a reward for your works but it's not it's absolutely his mercy that saves you galatians 2 16 nevertheless knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but through faith in christ jesus even we have believed in Christ Jesus that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law, since by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Works of the law would be the same thing as repenting of sins because repenting of sins is repent of breaking the law, keep the law. It's the same thing. Galatians 2.20. See, it has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with our actions or who we are. It's all about what he did. And we just trust on what he did alone to save us. That's salvation alone. And all of the scriptures to the brethren are to tell us how we should live because of what he's done for us. All right? Galatians 2.21. I do not nullify the grace of God or frustrate the grace of God. Cancel out the grace of God. For if righteousness comes by the law, then Christ died needlessly. Christ is dead in vain. It's the same thing. Galatians 3, 5, 6. Does he then who provides you with a spirit and works miracles among you do it by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? Even so, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. Galatians 3, 24. Therefore, the law has become our tutor to lead us to Christ that we may be justified by faith Ephesians 2 8 9 for by grace you've been saved through faith and not of yourselves it's a gift of God not of works lest any man should boast I thought I'd give you about 10 I think there's 11 of them scriptures that show that it's all God's mercy that saves us and it's only believing in what Christ did alone that saves us okay um Man, I, I just get tripped out at how mean people are. Like, I work really hard in my career, you know, as a film producer. Uh, I started out as an actor when I was young in my 20s. And uh, I began being a unit production manager at UPM and a line producer on film. And you know, this person that doesn't know anything about me just, like, attacked me. Like, well, what have you done? Like, you know, I had to prove myself and then... Just because I stood up for people, just because I stood up and said, give, give these celebrities the mercy that you give anyone else because you don't know them. And apparently they think it's some... Anyway, we give Satan way too much credit, okay? God's still on the throne and there's some evil stuff that goes on, but we're not supposed to fear that. God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and sound mind. We need to hang on to that. Remember who's on the throne, man. Don't worry about it. Thanks.